so do I salute you or what? Is there some kind of secret handshake? Well, officially, I don't think we work for the same people anymore. What can I get for you? Oh, I'll take a, uh, I'll take a chocolate milk with a Tabasco chaser. No. Okay, how about a gooseberry smoothie? No. Applesauce. Fresh out. All right. Well, I'll just take a water then. Perfect. <clears throat> well, you know, we're still working for the same people as long as the money's coming from the same place. I mean, uh, how do they write up all that stuff anyway? Well, the same way they write the proposal for people like you and me who fight terrorism with their minds. You know, they, they draw up a whole bunch of complex scenarios that, that always end up in the interest of preserving national security. Right. And excuse me if I'm oversimplifying things, but aren't you, in the end, some kind of black budget funded civilian matchmaker? I mean, how does that relate to national security? Didn't they send you here? To hook up some art prodigy with a circus freak or something like that? Look, I don't write this shit up, all right? I don't know either way. But to tell you the truth, since I started this, I've spent quite a bit of time thinking about you know, what kind of difference it would make if we spent a little more time in the smaller human pursuits. And what, if any, conclusions have you come to? Well, thank you. We spend $80 billion a year trying to, to back-engineer a recovered spacecraft that, that slipped through time. I mean, you and I both know that in 10 years' time we'll be building this craft. We can prove this. We spend $100 million a year trying to separate the human soul from the human body and then finding a way to encapsulate it. Well, I, I can't even imagine the, the, the horrible implications of, of the weaponized use of such a thing. Yeah, I heard about that too. You see, I know this guy who said that he saw them testing it on dogs, but that dude lies about everything. Well, we're funding some crazy shit. I mean, so what if some hard up academic that can't get a date, you know, writes this little project into the budget that uses our honed abilities to hook people up? I mean, maybe I was sent here for a reason, and maybe I wasn't. Look, what you and I both know is that we do what we're trained to do because we don't know how to do anything else. You've gone soft, St. Valentine. You know, our country's just lucky it had some soldiers like me doing all the real work. Yeah, right. Well, when they found you through an aptitude test disguised as a video game. That game was fucking hard. <laughs> there was all kinds of shit going on. Yeah, I'm sure it was. But you know what? Uh, look, it's been a real pleasure. And it really has. But I'm sure there's another town that I need to be rolling into. Well, you know what you should really do? Mm. Is get the dateless nerds back at headquarters to start writing in some money for a reality TV show that you could be the host of. Yeah, well, like, like uh, The Rock of Love or The Bachelor? Uh, something like that. <clears throat> now look, those are all terrible people anyway, right? Besides, you would make a much better host. You could call it, um, well, For the Love of Keith. How about Keith's mom's living room of love? Yeah, huh? Beauty and the Keith. <laughs> you might be onto something. Yeah, well, here's the whole one, huh? Sure thing. Hey there, can I get a shot of whiskey and a book of matches? The sun was in your eyes and that's why you missed it The high fly ball Ten thousand miles left you standing at the Wailing Wall Run and run and run Keep from sinking The old eight ball
报。